about Challenge Transformers movie. This is a G1 Blitzwing released by Hasbro in 1985. Now you can see, we're in this tank mode. It comes with these accessories, but you can't really do anything with them in this mode. Uh, the, the, the course this guy was originally from Diaclone, he's a Decepticon triple changer that featured prominently in the cartoon. Uh, so we've got Decepticon insignia there, the turret does go all the way around, the barrel does retract, which is quite cool. Uh, we've got the nice tank treads there, if we get this in the shot, there we go. Yeah, it's pretty cool. This is one of my Toy Fair pickups from 3rd of July 2022. I kept referring to it as 2021 in the video, sorry about that. Uh, yep, I'm a year behind. <laughs> Got the rub sign. Which does work. Yep, you can't make it out there, but it, there is a Decepticon signal showing. Let's just see if we can get it in. Sure. can't make it out, but there is a Decepticon insignia showing there. But that's quite cool. Uh, of course, the tank, but the tank turret does rotate all the way around. It's pretty good. The only downside is, of course, as with all blitz rings, there seems to be a cockpit showing. Well, for the G1 toy anyway, there's a cockpit there. In the tank, that's very visible in the tank mode. Uh, yeah, that's the only downside really. Apart from that, it's pretty cool. It does roll. Quite good. Let's see. Got, they haven't got much under there, apart from the head is visible, and some Decepticon insignias. Yeah, it's pretty cool tank mode, lots of detail and everything, pretty cool. Right, so to transform it, what we're going to do is, we're going to take it to its next vehicle mode, we're going to close up the tank barrel, leave that there. We're going to come here, and pull these sections out, like so, but we are going to move them up, so we can get out these metal tail fins just in here so we're just going to get them out like that there we have it and then come to the front here put out the nose cone and we have blitzwing in jet mode now my cockpit is extremely loose there was actually a way to push on it and keep it in place but it doesn't seem to want to do that anymore which is a bit annoying this was only 25 pounds though so it's not bad, and there is actually something I have forgotten, which is we've got to come in here, we've got to go back in here, and these parts swing out to form the back of the jet. Now, there is an issue, this one is in fact broken, and that is all you're going to get up that side. As you can see, quite a big bit of that has been snapped off. Let's close up the tank barrel, and there it is, blitz swing in jet mode. It's a pretty cool jet mode, looks fantastic. We do have these firing missiles as well, which do fire. Well, there's a button here to fire them. Yeah, sort of fires. Uh, this side sort of fires as well, but only when you point it down, I think the spring has gone in there or something. It's not very powerful, unfortunately. It's quite weak. And then we've got some nice thruster stickers at the back there. The thrusters are a bit thin. Uh, we've got this tank barrel coming out the back, which ain't that bad. Only downside, of course, is this part, which is a bit of a shame. And uh, my, nose, my nose cone doesn't really want to stay. And the Decepticon insignia is the right way up in this mode, but it isn't in the robot mode. So that's a bit weird. But yeah, this bit is very loose. However, we do have some landing gear, of which is just one, because the others are moulded onto the turret. And yeah, it will sit then. Hopefully. <laughs> It's going to be sitting very well, does it? That is one downside to this figure if you get it loose. We'll definitely check the condition. Uh, this one is quite good, but fortunately, as you can tell, it the, you know, the nose cone is going to stay in this mode. Yeah, though it points up a bit. There you go. So yeah, that should be how it is normally. Yeah, like I said, the missiles do fire, pretty cool, you get two of them, uh, they are quite hard to find. Uh, mine did come with both, one of the things that drew me to it, and also it was complete, of course. Uh, only £25, that's pretty good. Uh, for some reason, it's off camera, this, this mode. One minute. Yeah, this, this cockpit is really annoying. Anyway, 
still a bit off. There we go. So there's the jet mode. Pretty cool. Looks fantastic. The stickers definitely make it. Look, he's nice metallic. Look, he's nice metal tail fins at the back, which are really cool. Uh, yeah, it's a fantastic mode. Looks quite like I did in the cartoon. Uh, got some nice detail on the cockpit there, and it's nice metal, so it's quite heavy and everything. But all these parts at the back are metal. It's really got some weight to it, and it looks phenomenal. Well, there it is. Unfortunately, these parts on the side here get snapped off as well. As you can see, mine has been snapped off on both sides. Watch out for that as well. Um, but apart from that, you can put in the metal landing gear. And uh, yeah, the build quality on this is fantastic. And fly it around, and psh, there you have it. There's Blitzwing in his jet mode. Looks fantastic. Right, so transport to robot mode. We're going to close up. Well, we're not going to close up the tail fin, actually. What we're going to do is we're going to close up these parts, which is a bit of a shame. We didn't actually know it's broken on this side for the longest time until we got it back and transformed it. I didn't realise this part had snapped off, so that's something to look for when you're getting one of these. Make sure those rear tail fin pieces that come out the back are not broken. Let's flip that back away. Anyway, you don't need them for the robot mode, they just flip back. And the turret's just going to stay back there. I'm going to fold the nose cone in. Well, you can do that, but the first thing you want to do really is get these parts, rotate them up. We're going to have them up like this. The turret, you want to close up, put it up against his back. Then we're going to get out these legs, which extend like that. So we've got these nice metal legs. But of course, this is one of the downsides of the figure. He has a bit of a problem standing up after a while because of these parts. And this turret loves to. Well, it does fall off as you can see, and it clips onto this. And um, yes, yeah, it does rotate all the way around. It's a bit annoying. Sometimes it wants to say, sometimes it doesn't. Anyway, we're going to come in here, get out his fists. One of these are quite loose, the other isn't. And um, it's a bit strange, his hands, his arms. Yeah, his arms are a bit strange. And then we're just going to fold this to the bit to the back to reveal the head. And that is Blitzwing in robot mode. There he is. It's got a great head sculpt. Looks quite good. Yep. That's quite. That's definitely. Yep. So the Blitzwing's got a great head sculpt there. But unfortunately, the Decepticon studio is now the wrong way up. It's upside down. And that just happened. Which seems to happen. You know. And he's just fell over. Oh, he does not want to stand up most of the time. Right, uh, I think we got it back. Why is it? There we go. Focus, please. Oh, yeah, so he's just fell over, which isn't good. And this toe at the back, it never wants to bloody stay up, which is a real nightmare. I did get it to stay up before. Most of the time, it just fall back there. So that's something to look out for. And you'll see the toe should be up here, but it just always wants to fall back. Um, you can put the missiles back in his arms. Well, back with well, them. If you don't lose them first. Oh my god, it's not going well, is it? Oh, yeah, they just go back in here. Of which we do have his copyright there. Which we're probably not going to make out. Where is the light? Anyway. Uh, so it's Takara Ch Co Limited, 1984, Japan, on there. And then on the other side, we're just going to put in the other missiles. So you can have the missiles on the side there, like that. You can if you want. Let's just take them out. And, of course, it's a good place to store them, so you don't lose them. Until you fire the button, anyway, and if yours had the spring, it would just go flying. Maybe. Yeah, right, so there he is in robot mode. Pretty good robot mode. And uh, now, of course, what you want to do is... You have his sword and his gun, which you can't use in any other mode. Um, there is a specific way these plug, these peg in as well. As you can see, there's a peg on there. And it's going to go on this side. Because the sword can only fit on this side. Uh, well, it could go there. But the gun only goes on one side. So, as you can see, we've got a peg there. The sword's going to fit in his hand like that. If you took the gun, you can't actually peg it in the other side. No, you can't. It's going to be the wrong way up, so you can only have the gun in that side. And the same goes for the sword, as you can see, it's only moulded on one side, so there's only one way you can put in these weapons. Right, 
actually. The sword could probably go on both sides. But you cannot put the gun in the other side of his hands. So let's take the gun out. Kind of stuck in there now. Uh, yeah, you can fit the sword in this hand, sort of. But the gun, when you hold the gun in the other hand, that doesn't quite work. So you have to put it... So there's only one way these can really go in. It's a bit of a shame. That's just something to look for. That's just something to look out for. You got this guy. The weapon's only fit in one hand. There you go. So that's Blitzwing, fully armed up. Uh, we've got his gun there. It's a bit strange, really. The gun looks a bit flat on this side. There's more detail on the other side. There we go. Yep, there's his weapons. Pretty cool. Uh, he hasn't, well, as for articulation, he's quite limited, really. He's He's got one joint in the arms there, and they can't really go up. Well, they can only go up, really. They can't really go, well, they can go down and up, and that's about it. The head won't move, but let's get a good look at that head sculpt. If it wants to get in the head sculpt, if it wants to get the head sculpt. Yeah, pretty cool head sculpt, love the visor, looks quite good. Uh, his legs are a brick, they are not going to move. At least though, they are separate, they're not one whole piece. And But this guy does have a bit of a hard time standing up after a while, because those, those parts that he's standing on are metal and they're rubbing against plastic. And this thing does not want to stay at the back. I have got it to stay before, but once in the blue moon you'll finally get this thing to stay up on against his back, and he just wants to keep toppling over. So yeah, this figure is very cool, but it's a bit of a nightmare when your turret doesn't want to stay, your, your cockpit doesn't want to stay, and your, he always has a tendency to fall over. But overall, that is G1 Blitzwing in robot mode. Pretty cool figure. Looks good. Uh, you're not going to get much movement out of these joints at all. I mean, the legs. That's just all they do. Uh, the turret looks cool against his back. If you can have it, if you can keep it behind his back without it falling down. Yeah, it's a pretty cool figure. Looks great. No, it's got metal parts. Uh, shame my one has the Decepticon signal the wrong way up in robot mode. That's weird. Store the missiles on either side, so that's good. And yeah, that's about it, really. It's a pretty cool figure. Yeah, it's been retro action with G1 Blitzman. Great figure, definitely pick him up. One of the best uh, triple changes. Astro Trainer. An Octane with the other Decepticon ones. Yeah, there he is. Nice stickers we got on in there. Really cool. But that's him for 1985. Yeah, great figure. Um, until next time, it's been retro action. Bye for now.